Almost 718, Bob Zador is here for this week in real estate. Bob and Linda Zador for all your real estate needs. 870-405-0793, retire to Arkansas.net. Hey, we're talking about important stuff here. Talk about hockey. There you go. I tuned in. <laughs> I tried tuning something in. You know, I got the old Zenith Transoceanics. I got the weather report in Rochester, New York, and I picked up KDKH, I believe it was KDKH. Katie K. Snow, it's AM 1020 out of Pittsburgh last night. Huh? And they both had snow. And they both had snow. Didn't have much hockey on these one of them. Yeah, no, no neither, hockey no, there, no. no. Yeah, no hockey there. New York. <laughs> <laughs> the Hawks are doing better. They're, um, it's it's going to be a it'll be a long year, but a short season is, is where we're going to be with it. So, uh, But we enjoy it. I enjoy it. I get a couple guys that come over and we watch hockey and uh, just. Fun. Yeah, it is. Yep. It is fun. Got to hit. You've got to have a little break from all the rest of the stuff. Oh yeah, no doubt. So, so how's the real estate world? Uh, it's we're busy. You know, there's still it's busy. There's people looking to come here, people looking uh, to leave. There are changes in their life, and they need to be able to uh, go to other other places. And it's you know, people having babies. Life life is still going on amongst oh, all yeah. the falter all in Washington and all the other places. Life is still going on, and that's something that we get. Every four years we get this, and now we're starting to work our way through it. Okay, let's go. And you're seeing it. You're seeing that. You're seeing it in the inquiries. You're seeing it in the uh, people calling about stuff. We're finding uh, people looking for land, uh, big acreage type things. People looking to you know get out a little bit. Um, for, you never know. You know when the phone rings, you never know what it's going to be when you answer it. So that's and that's the fun part of the job. You know, what, what's the challenge going to be this time? And then finding those challenges and, and meeting them and uh, succeeding people's expectations as best we can. And that's, I think that's a very good, uh, it's, it's been a good business model for us. What's the next challenge and how can we fix it? How yeah. can we help? How can we help people get to whatever it is they're looking to do, whether they're buying and selling? Well, first time home buyers, last time home buyers, people, this is it, this is the last house we're going to uh, be buying. Those are the things that uh, to be able to see that, and we've dealt with enough. I mean, we've been doing this for 16 years now. Uh, we're almost like old timers, I guess. Uh, <laughs> as, as, as far as you know, and, and knowing the area, and knowing and the things that I don't know, we had the good. God gave us the good sense to be able to find people like Reese, to be able to find uh, Darlene, and to be able to find Sam, and be able to put the team together that was able to to yeah. be from here. And he has a, a good knowledge going up. Uh, Reese and Darlene, they both grew up here. So they know these areas. They, they know. I remember when the oak tree is about the size of my pencil. Exactly. That's exactly right. You know, like I, I, I told the story about the guy who would call me up and say, well, I live down from the old Smith farm. Dude, I don't know where the new Smith farm is. So let alone you. <laughs> call but, Reese. But, but <laughs> that's I say, I got a guy. You got to have a guy. I got a guy, and I'm going to have him call you, and uh, we'll get this straightened out. And 20 minutes later, Reese would call up, and it turned out that this guy used to play football with his cousin and because he's from here. Well, so. you get down where Reese is at, Calico, Norfolk, Timbo, Mountain View, oh, Marshall. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I mean. And, there, and there's some good opportunities down there. There's, you, know, you, you think of it, well, it's out of quite a ways. But, you know, we got highways now, and they got rid of the ferry. You know, you can drive. You can make that drive. It isn't that big of a Did deal. Did you live here? You, no, uh, no, I got it just before, just after the ferries left. You know there's somebody that lives out by Peel saying, I don't I think I don't think so. Yeah, I know, yeah. And, I, and we yeah, went on that one. I went on that one just because I, yeah. I, I wanted to say, let's go. We took a drive, and we went up there, and we crossed over into Missouri. It was pretty cool. Pretty cool. So if, you get a, if you're looking for something to do, drive up to the Peel Ferry and cross over into Missouri and yeah. drive yourself back it. around. Or I vice versa. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was enjoyable. I enjoyed it. Yeah. The ferry. Yeah. It was frustrating, though, in the summer times. Like when we had to go to Popper Bluff, I mean, it, we could take one of two highways, 101 or 62, and neither one had the ferry. Yeah. 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 So like I said, so, so being out isn't as big of a deal as it, it may, have, may have once been. Um, and there's, you know, little stores and everything else out there. You're not, you're not in the middle of nowhere. Um, finding the things for people because people, you know, they, oh yeah, I want to get a couple hundred acres, but they want to be next to Walmart. You know, that's that's because they don't know what they don't know. They don't they don't realize uh, how things are. Especially, you know, they're coming in, they're looking online, they're looking, um, they may be looking at Google Earth, they're looking at different map programs to see where some of these things are, and you don't always get the topography 
with some of this. Mm. So we'll have people will call and say, well, I, I found this piece of property. And you can generally tell when you look at the price that, nah, this is going to be all vertical. So you call the agent. If it's out, it's out on a buyer list. And you call the agent and find out uh, what about it because with no topos, it's kind of hard to tell, you know, unless you got, when all those lines are all kind of scrunched together, that's not a good indicator of uh, being able to do a whole lot with that land. You know, it's funny because I've got some friends in the Little Rock area that are real estate people. And it's, all they got is these neighborhoods and little communities. Oh, yeah. It's not like. <laughs> well, it's a different, well, it is, and it's a different market. And it's all, a different you know, market altogether. All real estate is local. <clears throat> it's all local. Well, what about Missouri? You've got folks in Missouri, too. We do. We have um, both Linda and Darlene are licensed in Missouri, and uh, we've done a, a goodly amount of business up there. It's a different, a little different market. It, the, it lays a little different. There's really? a li it can roll a little more than it right. does here. Here can be a little more vertical and, and stuff. Um, there's some lake properties up there that um, aren't as expensive. And, and like I say, you're not that far. You know, you think about how far people that are coming here and when i think of how long it used to take me to get to work every day one way you know it'd be an over an hour drive to get there sometimes stuck through that and it wasn't how far it was it was the difficulty the of getting there it was the time uh and all the rides here when you're going someplace the rides are nice you know i mean you got scenery you got vistas you got it's not like you're just looking at the guy in front of his bumper the whole time you're driving Okay, I got to ask, did you ever, go back 25 years, did you ever think that you'd wake up and look out your back window <laughs> and see what you see every day? No, no, we never, we never thought that. that we, we, I, 20 years ago, we wouldn't have got that. Um, we've been blessed in a lot of ways. I started saying you know, God we is get, blessed. He, he def, definitely, you know, and he put, put us on the track that got us down here. And but I want to point it's something out. You know, there's a lot of people that have moved from all over the country to Mountain Home, Cotter, guess well, wherever. <clears throat> but you all came down and joined the fun. <clears throat> I've seen people come down here, well, you don't do it the way we did it up there. Yeah, I... Well, that's why you're here and we're <laughs> not up there. You know, <clears throat> when you all came in, it was like, where do we join in? Yeah, I mean, we, we found know? things to do right away. We found different community things to get involved in. Um, the real estate took on a life of its own. My honey came up with... With coming up the tag of, in the website of retiredtoarkansas.net, um, it just helped tremendously. It was it was an anchor, and then it's forming the Z team. This, this is all on her. I, I know you watch it, but this is all on her. I mean, she's the one who organized this whole thing, and because she had the bigger vision. Um, I knew that I had my I have some skills, but she had the organizational skills and she had the um, the you doggedness to follow up and, and stay on the leads and stay on. Make sure that you follow up, follow up, follow up. Um, she'll get somebody that she'll send. She sends stuff out, and we had two referrals off of a off a thing that we sent out. Is that right? So, yeah. So that's I mean that's because they went oh yeah oh because top of mind. You know, that's where, that's where you want to be. And um, and both of those are under contract, actually, already. So it's just it, it, like that right now. A market's busy. It's going to settle down again. I mean, that, that just there's an ebb and flow to all of this. But the interest rates are good. I don't see a real housing bubble. Uh, there, there's, you'll see some articles on there on uh, some, of the, some of the websites and stuff because the, the banks are in better shape now than they were then. They're not loaning out money the way they were. You, you have to have, you got a little more skin in the game now than you did when we popped before. I think that that's really made the big difference uh, as far as where we are. People are, because, because of the COVID, they're, not, they're, li they're working from home. And because of that, they don't need to be in a condo down in the loop someplace or in downtown, wherever. Yeah. Uh, they can come in. They can move out and get a little bit of land. They can have that puppy that they always wanted. They can have the kids grow up in a nicer neighborhood. Those are the kind of things uh, that we're seeing here where people can come and live here and still do their business here. That's, well, that's a big thing. <clears throat> What's the governor's initiative? Wake up, right? Well, what, what they call that high speed uh, high broadband? Oh, high, yeah, right. What it, he knows, I don't know. What, well, the broadband and the, the high speed internet here, they're just you get next. EDXT you know, you look at next and, and, and what they've done. Yeah. I mean, it is really, really yeah. filled made the gap over here. there. I mean, it's just it's phenomenal the difference that it's made yeah. in things. And I guess in um, NATCO, is, is, 
it has the high speed internet Necro too, right? Has some fiber to the home is what they yeah. call it. Yeah, yeah, and, and, so that's, it is. and that's great. I mean, that's what yeah. people are looking for. Yeah. So, because we had better, and when this come last March, April, May, when things, when all this was trying to get shaken out, we had better internet than a lot of major cities did. Oh yeah. So, that worked out very well for us. Yeah. And just the, it's quality of life, Dale. It's always, yep. and and I talk about that. All the time it is always quality of life is what's going to bring people here we may not have as many stores or as many this or as many that and but we have the quality of life that is you can go we, we ran down to conway yesterday to look at something really okay we had a nice little drive we had a nice dinner drove back lovely way to spend the day even in, with the wind and everything else mm -hmm. it was still a lovely way to spend the day and then I was back here in my nice, safe mountain home. Yeah. You know, our portion of the Ozarks up here, uh, that's, it's just priceless. So it makes a big difference. Uh, and we've been, uh, to go back to where we were, we've been blessed in a lot of ways. You bet. Blessed in a lot of ways. How about some numbers? This week in real estate, um, there were 49 new listings came on, three commercial properties, 28 parcels of land. 18 homes came out in the market. They came out in a range from 625,000 to 85,000. Two of those are active contingent. Um, average price coming in the market this week was $233,000. There were 26 sales, two commercial properties sold, seven parcels of land, so 17 homes sold. So 18 came out, 17 sold. Um, they sold in a range from 370,000 to 15,000. The average sale price this past week was 161 with uh, 111 days on market, but we still closed $2.7 million mm. in residential real estate this week, so it was pretty good. Uh, 12 properties expired, because you figured this was coming into just before Christmas. 12 properties expired, 16 had price changes. There's 102 pendings. And what I'm seeing is, is I go through and I gather these numbers, instead of going to active contingent or going to take ba taking backups, they're going right to pending, meaning that that purchaser has the wherewithal and they know that that deal is going to close. That's what makes the difference here. Pre-approvals, whether you're a first time home buyer or a 30th time home buyer, you have to be able to show that seller that you can actually close. They don't want to get halfway down the path and then mm -hmm. three, there are three weeks <laughs> off market, four of the potential buyers may have gone by and then you can't go forward. Pre-approval, is is really the golden key right now, the yeah. golden ticket to get your process, get your deal in the um, top of the line. Right now, there's 194 homes listed on the MLS, and that's probably down. I'm sure some of those went under contract this weekend. 194 homes listed on the MLS, 69 in Mountain Home, 14 in Bull Shoals, 4 in Cotter. Year to date, there's been 47 homes have sold for $8.8 .8 million dollars. 8.8 .8 already this yeah, year? Yeah, from January to last, uh, to Friday. Uh, for 8.8 .8 million, 98 okay, we've days. We've had two holidays in January. Oh, yeah. You had two holidays, an election day. You had, I mean, you've had a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Um, every Whew. sale price this year is 188. Now, last year, before, and remember, this is all PC. Mm -hmm. There were 64 homes that sold for $9.5 million, 111 days on market, with an average sale price of 149, so more homes sold last year because we had more inventory. Yeah. As things got, and, it, and that was just the way the market was going because it was coming so strong out of 19. Interest rates are good. The economy's moving forward. I just wonder where this economy would be with without COVID. Well, we don't know. Through the we'll region. never know. Yeah. So we deal with the hand that we've got. Yeah. And it's. Uh, We've been blessed here in a lot of ways. I mean, I'm glad, I'm glad that we're here instead of selling condos in Chicago in the loop. You know, that yeah. the rental markets and stuff are just terrible, terrible down there for these big. And because you don't have the little restaurants that were there, the, the people that used to come out of work and go to Joe's bar and have, have two drinks and, you know, it's a bag, basket of cheese sticks before they'd go home, they can't. So the, all those places are yeah. out of business. Will they ever come back? Don't know. So it's it just it's a different uh, different market, and all real estate is local. You know, you talk about how we how we are here. Um, that's that's really the deal. People can come here, they can 
find a new start. And, and we see a lot of that where people are able to, to give back and, and they realize how blessed they've been in different ways. And uh, you see that with the different charities and stuff that, that go on and they're going to have a little fundraiser and, you know, it's full. Yeah. You know, that's a good thing. Wow. The, the, the theater, the little theater's got something going with, I'll get, I'll get you the information. I just I picked it up Friday with Scott. The one on West Road? Yeah, they got a deal, and, and there's food involved, like you go to one of the restaurants or something. It's for one of the one of the houses, and, and I'm not sure. So before I make a bigger fool of myself by not knowing <laughs> what I'm talking about, I will get the information, and I'll get it, it over here to coming. you. Guys. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming. That's right. Phone it's coming. Location. So give my honey a call. Uh, she's at 870-405-0793. Uh, we're at the main office. Uh, if you go to the east office, it doesn't matter. Just ask for the Z team and have them uh, get in touch with us. They can transfer your phone. But the best thing to do is to call my honey. She keeps the book. She le she knows where the appointments are. People will call me up and say, hey, can you come out and take a look at the house? And I'll say, yeah, sure, we'll come Wednesday and then find out that we got four other things. So I quit doing that. Stay in my lane, and we're all, <laughs> and we're all a lot better off. Uh, so, but give my honey a call, 870-405-0793. Uh, the website is retiredarkansas.net, as you saw the, the uh, shot over the river there, and uh, that's on all all the time. It's cool when it rains and thunder and stuff. Um, and, but all the MLS listings are on there. You can take a look and find them on there, and that's a good good tool to help you. There you go. Bob and Linda Zador for all your real estate needs, 870-405-0793, retiredarkansas.net. Time for a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 